Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just about 12.30 in Honolulu, 6.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, 5th day of May, 2020, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. Although over the last couple of days we've seen gains, but nominal gains in gold, on today's show I want to talk about the compression triangle that has been unfolding with a series of lower highs and higher lows as we quickly approach the apex. Based on compression triangle theory, we will see the market release energy. Once it hits the apex, it can break out to the upside or downside, but most likely it will break out to the upside because that is the most prevalent trend direction, and that is what we look for. We'll talk about that in our technical studies, but first, to the price board. Gold, which was trading under pressure for the better part of the trading session this morning in New York, did firm up and is currently trading at $1,714.10. It's a net increase of about $0.80. Cents. The high today, $1,717.80, and the low, $1,695.40. Spot Gold was trading substantially higher. It's currently at $1,703.20. After factoring in today's net gain of $3.07, Platinum closed higher on the day, gaining about six-tenths of a percent and is currently at $1,783. The lone wolf in terms of the precious metals was Palladium, which did decline today, trading to $1,782.40 after factoring in today's decline of approximately $53. And lastly, silver gained over 2%, a net gain of about $0.32, cents, and is currently trading at $1,511.50. The first chart that I want to look at is a short-term for our candlestick chart. And what we can say with some certainty is when you compare the ranges that were found back in April with a low just below $1,580 and a high at the record high of $1,788, that the subsequent highs and lows definitely saw a contraction of range here and here. And then we had a higher low and a lower high we can see this continuing on as we move through this current short-term compression triangle and when we convert our 240 minute chart back to a daily chart we can see just how steep this most recent compression triangle has been by looking at these series of lower highs and series of higher lows now as we approach the apex in theory we should have a release of energy as it breaks through that apex it can move either as a breakout to the upside or a breakout to the downside however rule of thumb is that once the compression triangle breaks it will return to the most prevalent trend direction which has certainly been up over the last couple of years another couple of factors that have left me extremely bullish on gold is the fact that over the last two trading days the market has opened and closed above the 21 day exponential moving average as well as the 23.6 percent Fibonacci retracement at $1,710. It is for that reason that I think it's a matter of timing properly to enter a trade from the long side. I do think we should see gold move higher in the very near future. It is for that reason that although we are flat, we are looking for a spot to position ourselves from the long side. With this compression triangle coming to the apex, I am looking for a high probability that we will see a strong breakout to the upside in the next week to 10 trading days. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Have a great Cinco de Mayo. Bye-bye.